the Bahamian director and playwright among those awarded with a distinguished order of merit this year. Our Crystal Darling tells us more about the awardee and his contributions to Bahamian theater. You could be a leader in, with those people, but without those people, you know, nothing really happens. Director, producer, playwright. Among many other titles, Philip Burroughs has made his mark in Bahamian theater, being active in the arts and 100 productions, and proudly taking advantage of various opportunities to share Bahamian theater with the world. This year, Burroughs was awarded with the Order of Merit. He says much of the success has come out of teamwork and collaboration. Any of these kinds of things are really, for me, a group thing, because you can't do this thing on your own. So, you know, I have a, I work with a great team of people here at the Dundas and have been for 40 odd years. So. Burroughs is known for his polished directing skills, especially in plays. He says one of the most memorable is Winston Saunders' You Can Lead a Horse to Water, which was performed in the United States, Europe, and the Caribbean. And another favorite, Clement Bethel's Sammy Swain. Mm, there's tons of things. I mean, I... I used to count how many things I've directed, and when I reached 100, I stopped. So I've done a number since then. So it's been theater stuff, but it's also been stuff for government, like the Seek Awards and independent shows, and most recently, the Sydney Poitier production. Barrow says that sharing Bahamian culture in the form of art is important and really showing people outside of the country who Bahamians are. And the Bahamas has been known um, for drama specifically in uh, music and drama throughout the Caribbean. I mean, Rex Nettleford had once said that the Bahamas was the top in drama. That, that shows who we are, and that's another aspect of people thinking that the Bahamas is just a place to come and jump in the water and drink some, you know, sex on the beach and whatever, and that's it. But, you know, there's so much more to it. And in theater, we have, a, we have the opportunity to show that. Burroughs is one of the founding members of the annual Shakespeare in Paradise Theater Festival. He says in recent years, they've introduced Short Tales, a series of skits that provide a platform for new writers, actors, and directors like himself. He adds that currently he's been working on a full-length version of one of the Short Tales. And we've had years where there have been... 50 cast members throughout the 10 plays that were produced, new writers, new directors. That's sort of like the training area that we've used for, for people. I'm getting ready to work on a play right now, which was originally written as a 10-minute play for Short Tales. It's now been expanded to a full-length play, and it's going to be one of the plays that's featured in this year's Shakespeare in Paradise Festival. Burrow says he and the team are fully focused on preparations for this year's Shakespeare in Paradise Festival that begins in October, kicking off a year of Bahamian theater with plays running monthly leading into the country's 50th independence. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Crystal Darling.